assalamu alaikum today we will discuss batch manufacturing record or bmr it is a very important video if you have any experience or if you are a fresher this video will enhance your knowledge regarding the batch manufacturing record so do not skip the video you will learn something new in this video so let's start our video today we will discuss what is batch manufacturing record what are the other names of the batch manufacturing record how bmr is issued what are the components of bmr what are the fixed components what are the attachable components and what is the reason for bmr and what is the retention period of the bmr so let's start our video starting from what is bmr bmr is basically an abbreviation b stand for batch M stand for manufacturing and R stand for record. Batch manufacturing record is BMR. What is BMR? BMR is very important document in pharmaceutical industries which are used to manufacture any batch. This is the document which contain all the information regarding the equipments, regarding the standard manufacturing procedures and it also contains the parameters at which we will manufacture the batch in simple words batch manufacturing record is the real time recording of the batch manufacturing so what are the other names of bmr bmr other names are bpr batch production record BPR batch processing record or BPCR batch production and control record how BMR is issued it is very simple planning send its forecast to the production and production according to the demand of the market or the priority of the products send the product BMR request to the QA department QA department has a master file of batch manufacturing record and QA department give a specific batch number to a specific product and then take its print out and hand over to the production department where it is reviewed by the production manager its manufacturing expiry date is added and signed and it is also cross checked by the quality assurance manager what are the components of bmr there are two components of bmr one is the fixed components and other one is the attachable components what are the fixed components fixed components are those components of the bmr which are printed according to the master file what are the attachable components attachable components are those components which we add to the bmr after receiving from the other departments what are the fixed components fixed components include batch information personal deployment sheet equipment cleaning and deployment sheet bill of material critical instructions portion manufacturing procedure portion batch reconciliation portion or component what are the attachable components these are manufacturing order checklist dispensing labels any deviations or release certificates now we'll start from the fixed components the first one is the batch information usually first page of the bmr contain batch information it include name batch number batch size manufacturing date expiry date registration number product description like dosage form its dimension shape shelf life and color next one is the personal deployment sheet this sheet includes the name of personnel including the qualified person which are going to involve in the manufacturing of the batch mean name of all the operators and the qualified person next one is the equipment cleaning and deployment sheet this sheet include the cleaning status and the name of the equipments which are going to use in the batch manufacturing process next one is the bill of material bill of material is also known as bom bill of material bom is an important component of the batch manufacturing record because it contain all the quantities of the excipients and apis which are going to use in the manufacturing process and it also include 
code number to these materials and it also has a column for signing authority by the production department after verification of the quantities and codes of all the materials the production pharmacies sign on boom next one is the critical instruction in this portion before starting the manufacturing of batch any critical instructions are mentioned here. like if you are going to manufacture a product which is light sensitive so instruction to handle the material to avoid it from light will be mentioned here next one is the portion of manufacturing process manufacturing process portion basically include standard manufacturing procedures mean a standard manufacturing process or procedure is defined in this portion and along with this we also have a parameter ranges and standard parameters so we manufacture batches according to the standard manufacturing procedure by following the parameter ranges mentioned in the bmr every activity performed in the manufacturing process portion is duly signed by the operator and qualified person these entries are added in the real time next one is the batch reconciliation batch reconciliation if you are not familiar with batch reconciliation the link of video reconciliation is given in description first of all completely watch the video to learn about batch reconciliation in this portion we reconcile our batch you can learn from the video link is given in description so it was all about the fixed components now what are the attachable components these are the components which are not the part of master bmr we receive it from other departments and attach it to the bmr first is the mo manufacturing order or dispensing order these are the documents which include list of the material quantities of the materials code of the material and all the batch in ramdi store is dispensed according to the manufacturing order it also include product name batch number and manufacturing order number along with quantities list of material lots of the material code number and signing options next one is the checklist list are the important components of bmr checklist are basically line clearance checklist these are attached to the bmr like dispensing checklist granulation checklist compression checklist and coating checklist all these checklist after line clearance are attached to the bmr and are known as attachable components next one are the dispensing labels dispensing labels are also important in critical components of batch manufacturing process these include severe and critical information related to the product it include quantities mean batch mean excipient or api quantity lot number code number along with the tear net and gross weight so these dispensing labels are also attached to the batch manufacturing record after removing from the polythene bags from where these are originally attached next one is the deviation if there is any deviation during the manufacturing process the, these deviations are also part of bmr next one is the release certificates release certificates are provided by the quality control department mean after granulation if we have a release certificate it will be provided by the qc and will be part of bmr and again after the compression process and coating process all the release certificates will be attached to the bmr why we need bmr bmr is required to fulfill many regulatory requirements like gmp us fda we also need bmr to know that how manufacturing process is followed to manufacture a specific product and how we will manufacture a product by following which parameters bmr is also required to check that which equipment are required for manufacturing of a product in simple words bmr is the history of our batch manufacturing and after the batch manufacturing mean when batch is manufactured the bmr act as a traceable object mean if there is any issue or market complaint we can simply take its bmr and as we discussed previously all the history is recorded in the batch manufacturing record starting from its batch number all the personnel involved all the machines involved all the quantities parameter lease label h and everything 
related to the product and what parameters were followed at the time of manufacturing everything is mentioned in the bmr so bmr act as a traceability object next one is the retention period of bmr for how long we will retain the bmr the answer is very simple the bmr retention time is expiry date plus 1 year mean if our expiry date of a product is 2 year we will retain its bmr in the record room till the 3 years so it was all about the batch manufacturing record the link of article on the batch manufacturing record is also given in description you can also visit my website pharmainform.com to read more interesting articles and if you like the video share it to others and till the next video allah hafiz